Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Hawkeye FC Creator Club career mode. We are in November. We are getting very close to another transfer window. We are just plowing through these seasons, guys. And I'm just... I've got to come clean. After all the raging, all the bullshit we've had to deal with, I, especially today, I've done a lot of editing to a lot of the episodes. I've got a lot of episodes already scheduled. So, by the way, guys... If you want to see more episodes, if you want to get a double upload on, on a daily basis, just hit five likes on the videos and I will upload the next episode straight away. So there is a little bit of incentive if you want another episode of Hawkeye FC career mode. But I am really loving this career mode, don't get it twisted. I know I, I rage quite a lot, but we all do because it's FIFA bullshit. It is what it is. But as you can tell where we are, we are fourth place and... That is where I, that's where I at least want us to be staying is around that area. So, we have got three games this episode. By the way, guys, just, again, just forget about the voice because I'm still, like, I know I've like, said it for the last, like, ten episodes, but for, but to be honest, uh, I've been doing a lot, a lot of episodes. I am well, well ahead at the moment, and I, I'm still ill. So, <laughs> just excuse the voice. So, we have got West Brom and Charby, and what we are going to play, by the way, uh, I remember we're going to either play the Chelsea game or the, Ars or the Everton game. I've not quite decided who yet. Uh, but we're we are going to play this game against West Brom. Because, I again, I want to make sure we're switching the it up and playing different kind of teams. Uh, probably, I've not had any offers for Thomas yet. But I'm still sticking to my guns and saying I, I don't really want to play him just yet. Not really in the mood for him, if I'm honest, but he's still there. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to give the Plow a, a game as well, because he, he's had a couple of games out. Uh, but apart from that, you know what, um, I'll give Cool Bali a bit of a run out as well. Not really played him that, that much, so apart from that, we'll stick with everything else. So we're out of the Hawthorns. We are playing a five in the back, so we've got to try and break that down. But I've got faith in us, let's do it. Ooh, uh, no, I, I was worried then. I, I, that's why I skipped. Because I was wondering what the kits would look like. I was worried that the kits would look too similar, but not as bad. Yankuto was actually gone up to an 81, so hopefully that helps his performances. He's not played the best. It's like, oh my god, Grant. Well, Grant's still going here. He is caught by the midfielder there. And that is a really good sweeping ball. Oh, that is a good! Akuna, oh, he's come off. I was going to say, oh, that was a really good bit of play. And for Ram, oh, he's gone for the overhead. Cash. And for Ram again. Couldn't quite get onto that. Grant's there again. Wow, his agility is insane. Gavi! Oh, we're getting close. We just need to put these away, lads. Ah, we just got through our presser. Right, Jan Kuro, how have you... Right, let's just watch this again. Uh, of course it's not going to show you. It's a save by Amos from Grant. Get in there, lad. Jamie Wright. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, his goalkeeper. Oh, didn't play. Oh my God, this goalkeeper, what the hell is he on? Oh, cool, Bali, brilliant there for you, lad. Come on. Grant, oh, he is the one reliable one, I've got to say. Daniel Grant gets in there. He's having a great season so far. He is really stepping up for me. And finally, just before our time, we get the lead. This lad, I've got to say, what is it? He's a definite region, I think. I don't think he's a real player. Might as well one off the head, down to the ground, and bang. What a great finisher he is. Four goals in 11 matches. Not bad for a winger, I'll say that. But we've had some tough matches. I've got to say, our press is doing really well. Boom! Oh, that was nearly nicely done. Why was there only one back? What is that bullshit? How did... I, I'm, I'm shocked at how... How did he just... He just walked through that challenge from Presser. Even though I slid into it. Oh, it's so annoying. And again, Akuna's not really offering me much up front right now. It's, it's a bit annoying me right now. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? What the f Oh my god. Right. Saw so your shit out, boys. This is unacceptable. Oh my god. Dibwell, why are you suddenly turned shit? You just can't get past anyone. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Right, gets it back. Get the ball right. Got 10 minutes to get a fucking goal. I am fucking fuming. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of any time. Oh my fucking. And look at that. Fuck off. Fuck this game! Do you know what? Fuck this game! Fuck that keeper! Fuck West Brom! Oh my god! My players! Do you know what? There's so many players in this team who deserve to get dropped. And you're the first one who's getting dropped. The Plow is staying on the fucking bench. And Akuna, you are out of the next match. Fucking hell. I played that because I thought that was going to be a, go a game we should win. But no. We fucking had to draw it. Nearly lost it. It's shit defending again. It's fucking trash. And that first goal we got came from our corner. I really need to look at these fucking tactics because something is not right. But anyway, got to fucking move on because I... Jesus Christ. I'm going to see if I can get near 30 million for Gory. If I can get rid of him, that'll be a, a big bit of money I can use for December. And by the looks of it, I fucking need it. Okay, so I've I've tweaked the 
tactics. I'm going to see if it makes a difference because, like, the players just aren't making the runs I want. The, the defenders aren't where I want them to be. It's very frustrating. So, I've gone to, like, a drop-back defensive. So, basically, all my team sort of drops back so that we have a bit more defend defenders at the back. As well as I've got my, my centre-backs to just step up a little bit when uh, there's a player, like a striker, ready to get a pass. Just so I have players doing stuff. I'm, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to negotiate this and try and get about 25. Because 22, only 2, 2 million above his value. This guy's still young. And he's only mid-20s and he's still a good overall. So I'm going to ask for 25 on the dot. There we are. But do you know what? For a player who's not been that great, and we brought him on a free transfer, and we're going to get him get 25 million, probably about 20 million in the budget. That means we're going to have about 30 million already to play with if he goes through. Oh, and we finally get an offer for Luke Thomas. Um, I definitely want a little bit for him. I definitely want at least 40. And we'll start the offer at. Yeah, let's see. Starting off at 55, going no lower than 40. That can't be too unreasonable. To say how young he is, he's only about mid 20s and he's 83, 84 eight, eight, overall. <coughs> I mean, if we if we get our deal done, we we could have some serious business happen. I mean, just for that one deal of gory, we just got back the budget what we we started with. What's just oh my god, just put it into perspective. And then we've got a 10 million from the Montez deal, so we've got 30 million to play with. Um, strangely enough, Chelsea have actually. Do you know what? I'm actually going to simulate this game against Chelsea and play the the Everton game. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, good to see that Woods up to a, an 8 overall. Again, obviously, it, it is just right who's sticking out like a sore thumb, but obviously, um, when Vincent comes back, it'll be fine. But I'm going to quick sim. Just hope for the best. We are at home. It's probably the be best one to sim. And it's 2-2. Two -two. I know um, Akuna could have got it. Could have got a winner. Werner got a 79th minute equaliser. But you know what? Against a good team like that. you got to, you got to remember our team isn't quite up to the level of, like, of them guys yet. And Everton are actually just below us. So... On your Dika, wow, we're actually trying to actually getting transfer offers of players and trying to get rid of. Um, I want no less than 14 million for him. And I know it looks like I'm just getting rid of the players all I've signed, but if they're not working for me, I'd rather just get rid of them and try someone else. If I'm being completely honest. And to be honest, players like On your Dika, I only got because he was the only one available. People like Luke Thomas, I actually wanted. If you remember, I wanted that other fullback who I went for. Uh, but I couldn't get him. I think it was Sosa. Uh, he was actually a lot higher rated at the time for him. And oh my god, we've got an agreement. 44 million, so over 10 million higher. What's that? That's, we're going to have like near 70 million. I've accepted that, lads. And and you know what? I'm, I'm just going to play Prio, or whatever his, Prosa, or whatever his name is. Uh, he's actually been pretty good at left back. But obviously, he's not going to become my left back. He's going to still be my backup. But still. And Iceland wanted us to be their manager. So we are making moves. I'm getting rid of a lot of the dead wood now. Uh, Pete, I mean, that, that's all three of them midfielders gone. So probably a bit of that money is going to have to go to a backup centre mid. Maybe try and find a youngster or something. But anyway, we are good at some park. Wright's going up to 72 as well. What's nice to see. Going to stick. I've got to say, Dupuis is going to stay on the bench for now. Obviously, Thomas can go away. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, do you know what? I, I'm going to try Zubrari. And uh, and then what I'll probably do is I might... Oh, uh, yeah. I'll keep I'll keep Dial on the bench. I was tempted to put him up at camp, but I'll, I'll keep him on there for now. Uh, Gory. I'm trying to think who's going to be my... Oh, do you know what? I'll put Arhan on there. He can be my... My centre attacking midfielder option. But anyway, I'll go with that. I'll go to some park. Let's hopefully do a little bit better than we did against bloody West Brom, please. So let's go. Uh, 
Oh, for, uh, it's not grey. Fucking hell. I'm glad I went for more purple than blue at the start of the season. But Jesus. It's, I wanted my my home kit more than I was. Oh, it's red. Oh, and there we are. First fucking problem. God. I don't think this game knows any other way to score. Look at this, just one one pass infield, one another. And it's just one ball to set them up. It's fucking just clockwork for them. It's am I just the only one who's seen it? It's a bit so robotic. It's not natural, it's not a fucking realistic way of they do it in real life. Maybe every now and again, but not every fucking player, not every single team. That's the one thing I don't get either. It's fucking penalties. You never get a penalty. Oh my god, fuck off Pewig! How in the fuck is Pewig so fucking strong? Why do I feel like the fucking camera is so slow? It just feels like it's so slow at moving. falling over I'm getting nothing oh my god and oh my god a face off and miss oh my god this is fucking awful FIFA you have the fucking worst game in history you are fucking awful you just so shit so slow I, I'm, I'm fucking weirded out of what's going on That's one. Right, the fucking colours are fucking me off now. Cause I, I'm struggling to... Oh my God! Kuto! How many times are you going to lose me the ball today? That is better. That's a really good move. Finish it. Yes. Get that fucking ball. Oh, I'll kick it in the net. Whatever. But we got back in it. That's better. And a coo fucking hell, Kuda. That is what I want you to do the whole fucking time, man. Oh my god, Greenwood is just absolute. Oh, fuck off! He was going to his manager, even his fucking teammates are tackling him. What the fuck? Where the fuck is Cash going? And then. Oh, fucking Greenwood just dropping all my players. Fucking hell. Is this the first time he's touched the ball today? He's got it off to Jan Kuto, though. Kuto! You're so slow at getting stuff done! Wait. I just wanted to cut back there. Oh! 
Oh, you fucking dick! You are a fucking dick, you shit, dude! You fucking shit! Fuck this game! I fucking hate it! It is shit! These fucking developers need to be fucking shot! They have... They f how much do they get paid to make this shitty game? Because they don't deserve a penny of it! They are fucking trash! I am so glad fucking EA or FIFA, whoever's looking leaving who, fucks off sooner rather than later. Because this game needs a fucking overhaul. Just when is this game going to stop fucking just messing me around? And again, it is this ultimate difficulty. It's fucking bull. But it's not just that. It's just the overall gameplay. This year, overall, it's awful. It is absolutely terrible. I don't know what... Just... What? Why have you had to mess around with it again? You just mess around with things. You don't have to mess around. You, you say, oh, the game's got an overhaul. Yeah, all you've done is made it shit. Fucking hell. Well, Thomas has left anyway. We're going to get 37 million for him. I mean, I don't know how much we spent on him, to be honest. I think we spent about 20, 22. So we're getting near enough 10 million extra on him. He's only been here over a season. <sighs> I would, I'd actually not be as pissed off if we didn't, if we should have drawn that game. But the one thing that's pissing me off is my players aren't making runs. Grant, Diallo, and not Diallo, fucking that Zubari. He had a chance right at the back. I, I'm almost fucking, I, I'm actually done with him at the moment. He's just in shit. He's just done nothing for me. He, sat, he, he, he got one goal against Manchester United. That's it. That's all he's done. I mean, Akuna's up to 89. But he's, been, he's actually not been as good. I mean, I, do you know what? I'm actually going to go into his fucking development plan and actually focus on his passing because his passing is actually shit. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, we, start, we didn't have an absolute stupidly shitty episode. We got a... But it's a frustrating one. We were well on top against West Brom and we didn't make the most of it. We drew against Chelsea and then we just fucked up against Everton. It, I just... I just constantly feel like I'm getting fucked over by FIFA. It's just shit sometimes. It's like, no matter what, it's going to punish you. You have to outscore the AI sometimes, and it's stupid. But then, when the AI... Your AI is so much more dumb than the computer's AI. Like, how is that fair? I mean, but your AI shouldn't change. When you, make, when you make theirs harder, that's fair enough. But the fact that you already make our AI more dumb than all else, when they're making the most shittest of runs, they're always offside, or they can't fucking defend, you can't, you have to do everything yourself, it's shit. No matter how, that's how I have to work so hard to fucking try and stop them scoring, and you can't, because they do it the exact same way, all they do is get it to the, to the player in, who is free, because I can't move everyone. So that's how they're always scoring, and it's bullshit. Or, I've got to play a player randomly running somewhere else. As you, Jan Kuto seems to do nearly every game. Alright, uh, it's fucking frustrating, but you know what? We're actually getting money in, and I am fucking doing something with my team. But, uh, we really need to sort some shit out. But anyway, guys, we'll hopefully in December we've got a big month, but we will be get, getting... Again, I'll be getting through this month whole of it. To be honest, a lot of these games are ones I can simulate anyway. Uh, probably like uh, the Leeds game. I might play the game again in Ellen Road. Um, possibly one of these games at home, and then probably simulate the rest. And then we'll get into the, to January next game. It's a very very tough month for January as well. So probably I'll try to get some business done right at the start. So I'll try and look for players who I'm trying gonna try get in now in back at behind the scenes, just so we can get them in around this this t time or even after this Everton game. Just so we have players who we want for these big games. Because most likely I'm going to play three games in this January. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next episode, I've been a Hawkeye Punisher. Please like the videos, please subscribe. Until next time guys, I am out.